So silage harvest management, management plan, spreading out your risk and, and diversity with uh, with your hybrids and, and relative maturities, and then and then a good uh, fungicide kind of uh, uh, plan also, where, where I'm going to go in and watching the weather, knowing what kind of systems that, that bring that stuff in. So what's the other what's the other points that we need to be looking at for for silage harvest? So really, really, the other things we need to be looking at is is the timeliness of our harvest. Okay. Um, you know, and, and as you know, from a nutrition standpoint, um, uh, the moisture is critical. Absolutely. And, and, you know, and that comes in from a nutrition standpoint, as well as just from a functionality standpoint that, you know, we, we don't want it so wet that we're, we're causing issues in, in handling and we're getting a lot of seepage, but also we don't want it so dry that it doesn't pack, doesn't ferment, you know, th- those type of things. So there's, there's an ideal window kind of in between those. There, there is an ideal window, and, and I'll tell you what my ideal window is. I like somewhere between 68% moisture and 65% moisture. And some of that, though, depends on depends on the um, the, the hybrid itself. You, you know that not all hybrids are are equal. And when we're talking about moisture, we're talking about whole plant moisture. And there are hybrids that the grain dries down faster than the plant. So you go out there and you look, and the plant is still pretty green. It's still pretty healthy. It looks like it's still going. You know, and I think the agronomic term for that is stay green. Mm-hmm. And, and and so we go out there, but then we look, and, and the grain is already um, past half milk. And, and we're like, oh, gosh, you know, but we're like, it's too wet. So I would always, 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 you know, air on the side of just a little bit wet. Um, I, th- I think that you are going to continue to have uh, better quality there. Your grain quality, your your uh, grain digestibility is definitely going to be better, when, in, in especially on one of those hybrids that... Um, that that the grain dries down faster, you know, and in in some of those also. Speaking of that, and, and you can attest to this, some of those really turn down, really really dry down, really fast. Right, right, right. You know, so there's some of those varieties that the grain looks a little bit dry today, and tomorrow it's it's even it's even a whole lot drier than what you think it ought to be in a day. Sure. And, and so a guy needs to be out watching for that. So he needs to be talking to his his uh, his seedsman. You know what kind of what kind of variety did I plant? He needs to be out there looking for that. And and I really think, especially those those that have good stay green and and the grain dries down pretty fast. I think you're looking at sixty eight percent moisture on those guys. Okay, I think you're I think you're now now sixty eight percent moisture. You're not going to run into all of those all of those, uh, you know, you're not going to run into a whole lot of leachy problems and just a whole lot of running and, and those things, but you're going to be looking at better quality silage for sure. And, and I would always err on the, on the side of that. And, and then, and, and then, you know, one of the, one of the things that's really interesting there, Kevin, is, is how, how dry is too dry for corn silage? Right. Okay. You know, how, how dry is, is too dry. And from a nutritional standpoint, man, I think once you start dropping below, uh, you know, man, once you start getting in that 50%, it's almost better just to wait and either take it as, as earlidge or snaplage or, um, or, or high moisture corn, depending on what you need for your operation. Right.